teacher unions in the country have commenced their strike action over what they term legacy debts. We've been around the country and the effect is very dire. The students are preparing for their end of term exams and there's no teacher around to supervise them on that. This morning on Daily Runs, we want to find out whether there's any justification in teachers deciding to strike at this crucial moment. Mind you, some of them have said that they are going to remain on strike until the last person is paid that legacy arrears. This is the Daily Runs. Let's keep talking. Oh, yeah, I'm going to find out the teacher for a boy handed down there. You're going to strike. Teacher, you're going to be on your way, and you're going to strike. You're going to say, you're going to say, yeah. When you come back from strike, you would have to do it. We are all parents. We are ch our children are in there, so we are not happy. But Obi Achraze work of promotion 2012. I'm in three months arrears. With the view, the offer documents are offered Tamra. Name change our worker. And so from 2012, we have been battling this, and you can see from the records, we have been hammering on this one uh, up to this time. And so even on the 28th year, you question when what did them some some badam for you There, some people who were females are being paid. Watchman, what, what? And some people are on people teacher, they are paying principal superintendent. What are they doing? This, this is even an insult to the people who worked on those documents. The documents were worked on by no mean and institution like the audit service, like the Control Accountant General, like the Ghana Education Service. And they saw females taking watchman salary and they paid them. The data general is going around with figures like they are left to just 1,800 or something, and it doesn't warrant all of us going on strike. In the unionism, we talk about touch one, touch all. That is our that's our policy. So even if it's one person, we will make sure that person get the arrears before we go to the classroom. It's not a wish to embark on any strike. You see, no teacher takes delight in going on strike, and also the union. And it's not the duty of the union to to, to declare strike. You see, if something does not happen, something will not also trigger. So if the last person is paid, yes, we are ready to work with the with our people. We are ready to work. We are ever ready to work with our people. So. What we are trying to say is that the last person should be paid and they should stop bringing all those uh, issues concerning uh, labor and then, no, 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 we are not ready to listen to Sergio. All that we are, we, are, we are hoping for, all that we are looking for is for our members to be paid. If it's unprecedented, even though we are having some collaboration with the sister unions over the years, but this time all the three unions have come together to fight this, then they should sit up. We will not sit down for this thing to happen. This thing, by the touch of a button, you will know all those the government owed. They know everything. They ask us to tell our members to fill a form. They have done that since 2012. We've been doing this. So for how long can we be doing going on with this? 2012, I fill forms, sir. I fill the forms, sir. Even some even send their forms to a, a fair, a fair, a fair inside commission. They send their forms there, and, and the frustration, teachers were there queuing up till now, 2012, and now somebody is telling us, somebody is pushing us. With all due respect, it's the greatest insult to the teacher union. Who is pushing us? So we, we don't know what is good for us. I wish this statement of uh, NDC sponsoring the teachers go on strike was not said by the minister. Maybe it is not true. Because it is infantile, it is class one children who should be saying this. I don't think that a mature minister should say this particular thing on national TV. I hope he didn't say it. But if the minister who said it, he's insulting our intelligence. That all the teacher unions, over 200, about, about, almost about 300,000 people, we are all being put by NDC to do this. You mean that we don't have sense for ourselves? I hope he didn't say it. But this is infantile. Very immature. But, but really, what, what is the problem? For which reason, since 2012, this problem has not been resolved. That the BI will more fail form, the BI will more fail form. Me, now the introduction of the three months arrears policy. And then in 2012 2013, they brought this idea that if you go on promotion or you are upgraded or you, uh, you are recruited, they will initially pay your first three months. Then you have to provide documents to show that indeed you deserve those areas, then the rest will be paid. We talked about it several times, we, we fought several times, but the government then decided that that is what they wanted to do, and they started with it. And then later when they called for the documentation, a lot of our members, they sent it, as my brother said, they queued to submit these forms, and they said they were going to pay, they were going to pay. Let's acknowledge that it's a, they have started paying, but they have not finished. We want the rest paid. That is all. We are not asking for new salary. We are not asking for salary increase. We are saying that the rest who are uh, expected to get their money, they should pay them. That is all that we are asking for. The controller, they have done their inputs, everything verified, approved, and they were prepared to pay. But before they pay, they have to send it to GES for uh, authentication. Then GES 
within a matter of time, they are saying they've seen a whole lot of uh, discrepancies in the in the what the uh, 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 qualified institution has done. Which outfit did that? So the teachers are saying, paid us now, or we we also stay out of the classroom. Yes, and again, the director general is saying that they are going to publish all those who have discrepancies and all that we want we are very happy we, that is what we are looking for they should publish for us to know the 95 percent they say they have paid we want to see those how much they pay to them and what kind of period they pay to them then how many are left they say it's five percent left even it's two percent we want them paid if they are saying they are going to publish all those names we are very ready for such publication it should be done with immediate effect and then the issue of where there has been some allegation that uh, a certain party is behind this strike. In fact, that, should be, that issue should not even come in at all. It just, they are just trying to shift the goalposts. So does that mean in the days of NDC, when NDC was in government and teachers were embarking on strike, does that mean NPP were behind the, uh, the strike? No. Nothing has been confirmed Nothing yet. Nothing has been confirmed. But saying that this statement, we don't really know whether indeed uh, yeah. Minister no can. Yeah, that's why we are saying that, it, that should be, it should be an allegation. It should be an allegation, but it shouldn't be something that should come from any person in what in government. If that thing comes from any person in education, in fact, we will not take it lightly at all because we know what is good for us and we know what we want. So all that we are saying is that all the arrests should be paid with immediate effect. If not, we are resolute in the strike. Now we didn't see the white one one cut the mass media. Oba bears I'm seeing now. Where the man? Didn't see where the man you. Oh, in fact. Many sure that the market circle is around seven. Never come to go and we buy. It's around seven. Never come to go and what time? And to be here and now, what is our time for? Robbing the daza. Baby, we here and we no bob. So we have to know the right time that the, the thing is ripe for us to uh, either plug or to strike. And we believe this is the right time because say any of them no and they be a school away. I think they are striker. We know they will not even listen to us. This is examination time. And as my brother said, the, the blacksmith will strike when the iron is hot. And so we also look at areas that we can use to get what we want. And always I'm I'm very sad that these people who are planning and doing this kind of thing, maybe their children are not in the public schools. Their children are not there. But if their children are there, they will not be doing this kind of thing they are doing. And that is an unfortunate thing. But we are saying that whether uh, it is timely or whatever. Our, nowadays, because of the double track, and this, we don't even have where, where people go for vacation and don't go on vacation. It's everything's almost mixed up. So we don't have any particular time. We need our arrears, and this is a way of getting it, period. The fact of the matter is that eh, whether we are waiting for examination time to strike or not, the work is still waiting for us. The work is still waiting for us. We are the very uh, uh, people who are going to do it. So it's not a matter of yet when we buy exams, exams time, and so on. Yeah, call strike. My other kind of people, yeah, kind of yeah, just go. So a new group now, we are calling for. We try to call my uncle. And we are not going to accept any verbal assurance. We are not going to accept any verbal assurance. We want to see something concrete, like last one year, I agitated your president or issue letter. I'm going to remove it. HRMIS, correct. But since you are here, you are ready. They are prepared to even produce a supplementary voucher for the payment of the remaining arrears. That will assure us that we should go. But there, what do you want to back there? One could vote, one could vote. You are here. You are in charge. Echo only child. What's one more to you? Factor non verba. Today, it's action, not words. And see, we want to see authority. We want. We are pleading with the government. We know that when he talks, they listen. And see, yes, then, Oma Madina, on issue order, the all arrears due teachers should be paid with immediate effect. When this arrears hit our account, oh, the work is there for us. We are ready. We are ready to do the work uh, at any time and then and every day. In all last pe last person to be paid is Onya Riamdeba. Sika no any part of doing sika. Into one and one two and then one and one janeti. Into one two be an is ne ni na ya kumantu because so what two be ne zina what two be ne zah. Those allegations will come. And the young union leaders who are crazy, sika. And the work on the way today. And the woman who needs to what we are. And the one referee asking more about. We don't want such allegations again. The government is playing a, a very uh, emotional strategy. That is, touching on the emotional keyboard of the citizenry. Do you know what they are doing? Instead of them to pay us, oh, this debt, it wasn't even incurred uh, in, in, in our period. You inherit assets and liabilities. That is why we also have that patience from 2012 up till now. And even we have paid some of them, we have paid 95% uh, of them. Uh, they are playing on the emotional keyboard of the citizenry so that they, it will be turned against us. That one will not wash. That one will not wash. 
we've seen all the strategy. That is why they are saying NDC is pushing us so that we will be responding to those things. We will not respond to those things. We will respond to our uh, 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 money. Yes, payment. Give us a payment plan that I'm going to pay you and it should be this year. That, yes, this is how I'm going to pay it. Simplicity. This matter will not go to 2020. This matter, the arrears matter, it should die this year, 20, 2019. It will not go 2020 because 2020 may come with its own problems and we cannot predict what will happen. So you pay us this one. Then when 2020 comes, we'll see the way forward. But we are not taking any arrears to 2020. So if it takes preparing supplementary voucher for the payment of this one in December, that is what we want to see. Nothing else. Is there any guarantee that, say, we share them scare you and teachers won't come here? Oh, let's say as an anger says, okay, until you be this clear strike, you know, and now we have been working. And the yeah, you're human, but this year, baby, you know, you know, you're sorry, it will continue, it will continue. So, the guarantee is already there. Teachers are ready to work. If the money hit our account tomorrow, as we are talking at this, if the money should hit our account today, tomorrow we'll be in the classroom happily and they're ready to work. When we get to the bridge, we will cross it. As for that one, I can't give that promise. As far as we are in the labor arena, these things will crop up. And that is why we are here. Other than that, there will be no unionism. That is why we are here. We have to speak for the welfare of the teacher, the ordinary teacher in the classroom. But if you say, it's not too easy. And that's a cuckoo cuckoo and yes, sir. Kaka kaso and yay. And you want to say, Obanda ban, yaya ban it's nasty, yaya kasa. That's a bibia or cototia. Strike your quiet. No, mum, sir, I'm quite easy. Mobis barrier, but that is why we say, when we get to the bridge, we see what to do. So we cannot guarantee that we will not be going on strike again but when the time comes we study the environment and the strike is the only option left for us we will exercise it because the labor law allows that in fact my man can do baby on a community been working there teacher for why i did the why i did the work per strike or per strike they do and why i'm here i do be i put a bad time so what can such a ban and what when you dc is when you mps when you ministers they should talk to them they know what to do they should do the right thing so that we can have amicable solution to those problems we can have labor uh, front piece so that all of us can move together.